center lines long dot long dot long dot long long through the center long dot I'm going to draw a 60 millimeter diameter circle. So that means I set my compass at the radius, which is half of that. So half of 60 is 30. Start putting the compass almost flat. That way you've got, you can see it more accurately. Set it at the 30. When you come to draw a circle, with the other sheet of paper underneath, it should make a reasonable indent in the paper. Don't start drawing the circle right away. Wind your hand backwards until it's as far back as you can go, and then slowly start drawing the circle. Don't do it at speed, and that way you'll be able to reach it and blend in. I'll now show you uh, how to construct a square on the same baseline as that circle. I'll just draw a tangent to that. to draw a square on this side, we'll make it a square of 60. Wherever we want, I'll just start off with a vertical, set my compass at side 60, again at almost flat so you can line it up perfectly. Start off one corner, do an arc, an arc where they are cut and then project up and along. I've now got a construction for a, a square and we will line it in. Always line in the shape you're drawing, never leave them in construction. If you were asked to draw a square on its corner edge, it stands basically the same way. You start off with the point where it was to start, and if you were to draw it the corner, it would be 45 degrees. 45 degrees that way, and 45 degrees that way. With the compass still set at 60, you draw the two lines where they're cut and you continue the drawing, project up and project across. That would give you the square at 45 degrees. jump to a hexagon and the first one we'll, we'll do is 160 across the flats. Now we'll start off with the center. We'll use the same center as that one. Now 
across the flat, we'll set our compass at half of that. So half of 60 is 30. Again, at an angle, pinpoint the exact cross, swing your compass up, wind your hand back as far as you can go, and then point down and until you blend in. Now that's a construction circle and we're going to be drawing a hexagon with 60 across the flats. So the distance between there and there is 60, the distance between there and there is 60. I could draw it that way or that way, depending on what you were asked. I'm going to draw two vertical construction lines, tangents to the edge of the circle. Because it's a hexagon, you can use your 30 degree set square, draw a tangent touching that one, likewise top, tangent touching that one, your set spear over and we've completed the hexagon which we'll just line in Keep it in the set square on the T square. And there we have a hexagon which measures 60 millimeters across the flats that way, that way, and that way. Because it's a regular hexagon. And now we'll go over how to draw one. 60 across the corners. It's done in a very similar way. The centre lines. Compass, it should still be set at 30, but it's thick. It's moved when I lay it down. Starting at the zero, almost horizontal, it's moved slightly, so I'm just going to open it up to the 30. Wind my hand as far back as it goes. And blend it in. Now, across the corners, that circle is 60 millimetres. So if I'm drawing a vertical hexagon like this one, the distance between that point and that point is 60. So the hexagon gets drawn inside the circle. Same angles as before. Drawn at 60. Uh, 30 degrees, 30 degrees, and if it's done accurately, they should line up with each other. And the hexagon is drawn. If you were asked to draw it that way, you just start at those points there and it would be the same. So the two methods are drawing the hexagon, across the flats and across the corners. One's outside and one's inside. We'll jump now up to the octagon. No, 
that box to begin is an eight sided figure. We'll start off with a centre line. And the octagon will say 60 across the flats. So the octagon we set a compass at 30. Again, widening the hand back so as far as I can go. Now with an octagon, it's an eight sided figure, we have a parallel line touching across those, so if it just touches that side, just touches that side, that means it's 60 between the faces, which is the flats. So that will give us 60 across the flats. I'm going to use a 45 degree set square to draw these, because we'll need that for the other sides. So that's the two horizontal faces. That's the two horizontals. And to finish off we need to draw a tangent point at 45 degrees just touching that surface there. Just touching that surface. That surface. And that surface. And there we have a regular octagon.